I should, uh, I'm sorry, I should ask Councillor Cordo, would you like to sum up? Yes, thank you so much, Mayor. I will be very brief, but there are a few things in this important, constructive and positive discussion that we've just had that I want to bring to the fore to make sure that they're not lost. We had a great discussion about the naming of play spaces, and I think we do indeed need some clarity, maybe a formal policy around that, because what a great way to recognise um, very important people or, or things in the community. So I think that formal policy around naming is important. We've also heard about the website and I draw everybody's attention to uh, clause E of the recommendation that hopefully we're about to pass, that we're going to see on our website some fantastic things, uh, uh, a photographic inventory, list of facilities available, site images and other related information. And I really look forward to hearing community feedback uh, when people look at the um, from pages 17 to 24 of the report and see that fantastic photographic inventory and, and the framework and scoring that's associated with that. I really don't want to lose Councillor Grace's point about accessibility of these reports. So if there are difficulties reading these reports, and I also note that for my own personal um, situation, I find it uh, difficult that they're not searchable. So if we are going to have digital reports, um, I would strongly recommend that we have some OCR or that they're actually just copied in the same way that the rest of our agenda is so that we can we can read them. We, we shouldn't have inaccessible uh, reports. So I thought that was a really important point. Um, I, I've loved that there has been really constructive discussion around the important facts about equal geospatial access to playgrounds. So for example, on Bruny Island, recognising that playgrounds are an important stopping ground and so resealing of roads is very, very important and also so too is improving our play spaces. And I think the robust discussion we've had around some of the some of the things that really do desperately need work on our playgrounds has been very valuable. I was really pleased to hear about equipment improvements being forwarded to the works department. So there's a kind of subsidiary benefit of going through this audit process as well, in addition to this wonderfully comprehensive report that Mr. Dolanelli has prepared. And I also just wanted to finish off by saying that I have really enjoyed the fact that this report has a focus on inclusive design and improved usage outcomes. It's one of those examples of council doing something that is outcomes focused and that is long term in its vision. There's a great body of work still to be done and I look forward to progressing that with my council colleagues and, and with council staff. But playgrounds fundamentally are important for bringing families together. They're important not just for parents and for children, but they're important for grandparents and they're important for those young people of our community to help them learn, to help them have fun, to help them stay healthy and to help them thrive. And one of the key markers of a great community is the quality and the thought that has gone into its inclusive play spaces. So once again, I thank the author, the authoriser, and I commend the report to the council.